Ah, the fun of YouTube. We all know how fun YouTube is. I'm on YouTube trying to get this YouTube game going, this YouTube channel going, so shameless plug, but if you can, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button for notifications of future videos to come. And this future video that's to come right here is going to be talking about some of the trends that we're seeing with hate and negative speech on social media, how it could impact brands that you follow, and if you're not careful, how it could impact your brand. secret that YouTube has been a place where you look at the comment section and it's just literally a cesspool of negativity, of racist, sexist, homophobic language, some of the ugliest language you'll ever see by people who hide behind the cape, the veil of anonymity to keep themselves in a kind of mystical uh, existence where you don't really know who they are but they are able to attack you using the cloak of anonymity so one of the things that we've seen is that people get really tired of that and YouTube has really taken note and they have really done a major crackdown on YouTubers who are pushing out what they consider what YouTube considers to be hate speech uh, speech that marginalizes different populations that attacks people on racist um, uh, tones that attacks people using sexism, that attacks people using homophobia and xenophobia. And it's really been interesting to watch YouTube really crack down on that. And so you want to be very careful what kinds of things that you're putting out there on your channel. Make sure you're following YouTube's guidelines very carefully because you don't want to be considered one of those YouTube channels that's putting out hate speech. Even things that you might not think are that controversial, we've seen it consistently not just on YouTube but also on Facebook and to some extent on Twitter. We've seen some major brands have their accounts completely deactivated and they've been kicked off of a social media platform and so make sure that you're very careful about what's going on with your YouTube channel and for that matter with your Twitter feed your Instagram feed and your Facebook account because the content that you're putting out there could be deemed as hate speech and so you want to be very very careful about what you're putting out there not only because you could be characterized as pushing out hate speech or condoning hate speech or being a platform that encourages hate speech but you could also be doing damage to the brand that you're trying to work so so hard to build and so be very conscious of what you're putting out there to make sure that you're not contributing to an environment of hate hostility racism sexism and homophobia you want to make sure that you're completely you're uh, building up a vibrant community that is inclusive and doesn't marginalize certain populations because if you do that you put yourself at risk of having not only your reputation destroyed and or severely damaged, but you also risk losing a platform that you've worked really hard to build.